San Diego is not America's finest city for everyone. Nearly 10,000 homeless men, women, and children call the streets of San Diego their home. For 50 years, the San Diego Rescue Mission has been on the forefront of helping these desperate men, women, and children regain the life God intended. I'm Jim Jackson, Jr., President and CEO of the San Diego Rescue Mission, and I want to welcome you to our Miracle on Elm Street. The San Diego Rescue Mission was founded on August 30th, 1955, in a small abandoned card room on G Street. We couldn't offer much more than more meals and prayer, but it was enough to encourage some men and women to change their lives. Three years later, the rescue mission moved a few blocks away to Fifth Avenue, where we could house the homeless for the first time. In 1967, the rescue mission was helping so many women and children that we decided to open a family shelter on 14th Street. To help with downtown redevelopment in the 80s, we moved to a larger facility on J Street, bringing hope to thousands of homeless men. In 1992, we opened a women and children's center on South 16th Street that housed a new long-term shelter for families. Within a few years, we also used this center to start an emergency shelter for needy women and children called Nueva Vida Haven. To make way for the new ballpark district in the late 90s, the Rescue Mission looked for a new place to consolidate its programs. The Rescue Mission was blessed to find the vacant Harborview Hospital building on Elm Street, a place where we could serve 60% more people than ever before. In our new facility, the rescue mission saves the San Diego taxpayer an estimated $50 million a year. Here at our Elm Street facility, we have had success rates that are on a par with or better than elite rehabilitation programs across the country. Here at the San Diego Rescue Mission, we combine the best clinical practices with basic Christian teachings to produce incredible, life-changing results. Our residents meet with trained counselors who help our clients overcome their addictions. More importantly, clients begin to face whatever issues got them on the wrong track in the first place. Whether they require educational, vocational, or life skills training, Residents at the Rescue Mission get everything they need to turn their lives around. 20 to 40 percent of the men and 60 to 70 percent of the women who enter our programs graduate. They leave with a plan for their lives and most importantly, they know that they are cherished children of God. It means a lot. It means a lot to me because I'm I came up in here, I was fighting, you know what I mean? But right now, I know I have a bright future ahead of me, you know what I mean? It feels good. I hold all this place right here, God with this place right here. In all the classes has helped me to um, take responsibility for my um, life and um, to be a better person as well as a parent. Because the San Diego Rescue Mission feels it is critical to teach basic Christian values during the recovery process, we do not seek government funds for our normal operations. It only takes about $35 a day to give a homeless man, woman, or child all the help they need at the San Diego Rescue Mission. Each year, the Rescue Mission must depend on the generosity of thousands of individuals, companies, and organizations to run its life-changing programs. Without this help, the San Diego Rescue Mission would not exist. For over 50 years, the San Diego Rescue Mission has helped tens of thousands of people recover the life that God intended. And with your prayers and support, we look forward to serving the least and the last and the lost of San Diego for 50 more. Of a sea.